Hi everyone today, we're going to take a look at the 5 best computer speakers on the market for this year. First we're going to show you our 5 best picks, then we'll talk about what you should look for before buying the best computer speakers. You can find timestamps and links to all the products we mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started. Adding one of our best computer speakers will bring big improvements to the sound experience of the built-in speakers from your desktop PC or laptop. As many of us continue to juggle a working hybrid between the workplace and home office, investing in a better desktop setup can help improve the working from home experience. But it's not all about work, and what criteria defines best for you may depend on your needs. For instance, PC gamers might want something that heightens the atmosphere of their favorite first-person shooter. Music lovers may require a system that pumps out dynamic, well-balanced sound to enjoy every detail of a recording. In much the same way as the best soundbars improve on the audio output from built-in TV speakers, even an affordable set of desktop speakers will likely outperform the tiny little speakers built into a laptop or monitor screen. The computer speakers in this list each have a built-in amplifier with the power output rated in watts, W. In this list, we assembled the best computer speakers based on use, performance, and pricing. All produce a better sounding audio experience whether you're working, listening, viewing, or gaming. Number 1. Bose Companion 2 Series 3 Computer Speakers If you value excellent sound and are looking to bring better audio to your desk, the Bose Companion 2 Series 3 are the best choice for most people. Though there are computer speakers with more features, few other speakers sound as good as these. The speakers produce good bass, without being large or needing a separate subwoofer. The Companion 2 Series 3 also create a wide sound another impressive feat for speakers this size. You'll pay a bit of a premium, but that's the Bose way. With two 7.5 into 5.9 into 3.1 inch units, the Bose Companion 2 Series balances size and performance. They don't take up too much space on your desktop, but they still deliver excellent sound. The black plastic case and black fabric speaker covers will match just about any decor, not attracting too much attention. The Companion 2 Series 3 creates a big sound bigger than you'd think by looking at them. In addition to a wide sound field, the speakers generate significant bass for speakers of this size, without the help of a subwoofer. Put those together and you get impressive audio at your desk. The speakers have plenty of power if you want to rock out. At max volume, they produce 90 decibels without distorting more than enough to irritate office and housemates. The Companion 2 Series 3 is simple to set up. Connect the 3.5 cable to your computer's headphone out or another audio source. There are no sound adjustments you can make on the speakers themselves, you have to change bass and treble levels on the audio source itself. The Bose Companion 2 Series 3 computer speakers are the best for most people as long as you have a headphone output on your computer. They sound great and don't take up too much space on your desk. But they lack Bluetooth or USB-C, something many more recently released speakers include. And, at $149, they aren't cheap. But you get what you pay for when it comes to sound. Number 2. Klipsch Promedia 2.1 THX Computer Speakers if you're looking for the best computer speakers with a subwoofer, Klitsch Promedia 2.1 THX should be near the top of your list. The speakers deliver excellent overall sound and impressive bass. And they've stood the test of time, Klitsch first released them in 2001. But they haven't really been updated since then, either, which means the system lacks Bluetooth. If that's not a deal breaker, and you have space for the subwoofer, you'll be hard pressed to find better computer speakers at this price. The Klitsch Promedia 2.1 THX will impress in almost every way when it comes to sound. The system leads with its big bass, but the satellites also do a good job with voices and instruments. The relatively small system also produces a wide soundscape. The slow, deep beat on Billie Eilish's Therefore I Am sounded rich from the Promedia subwoofer, while her voice was clear coming from the satellites. The quick, throbbing bass pushed the rhythm on the war on drugs victim while the distorted guitars were easy to hear above the mix. The picked guitars on Fleetwood Mac's Never Going Back Again sounded warm and realistic, as did Lindsey Buckingham's voice. The hardest part of setup for the Promedia 2.1 will probably be finding a space for the subwoofer. 
While not large by subwoofer standards, it still takes up space that you may not have in your home office. Klitsch recommends that you set your computer's system volume to 70% and control the level of sound through the knob on the right satellite. That helps create the best sound. You then tweak the subwoofer level until you achieve the right balance for your room and ears. There aren't any other adjustments you can make to the sound from the speakers. Number 3. Creative Pebble V3 THX Computer Speakers. If you're looking for affordable computer speakers that don't take up much space on your desk, Creative Pebble V3 Minimalistic 2.0 USB-C speakers with Bluetooth should be near the top of your list. These small speakers produce a big sound and come with plenty of ways to connect to your computer or other audio source, including USB-C and Bluetooth. They're reasonably priced at about $40. Though they lack any bass to speak of, the overall sound is very good for the price, especially for vocals. And they look pretty cool, too. Pebble speakers are eye-catching, modern-looking orbs of sound. The 4.8 into 4.7 into 4.6-inch satellites don't take up much space on your desk. The black plastic enclosure feels a little cheap but will likely handle the challenges of desk life. The Pebble V3 sound much better than the stock speakers in a laptop and most monitors, as well as most cheaper computer speakers. Voices are clear and the overall sound is big, and it's much louder than your built-in speakers. There's a little bass, but not much, you'll have to spend more to get noticeable low-end in computer speakers. The little speakers produce impressive power. They maxed out at about 94 decibels, though there was a good amount of distortion at that level. The system was more comfortable and sounded better, keeping the volume around 80 to 85 decibels. There's not much to setting up the Pebble V3. You pick how you want to connect to your audio source, USB-C, 3.5mm or Bluetooth. If you choose USB-C, you may need to manually switch your computer's audio output. Number 4. Logitech G560 Computer Speakers. The Logitech G560 are the best computer speakers for serious gamers. The G560 produces robust sound, whether you're playing a game or listening to music, and the subwoofer really adds to the experience. If you like to play loud, this system is a great fit for you. It also features a sophisticated lighting system comprising four distinct zones with bright, colorful LEDs, which are fun but can be distracting. The included software is integral, you use it to configure the lights, activate surround sound and even create profiles for specific games. The G560 comes with a lot of pieces and wires, but it's not nearly as complex as it looks. The setup instructions are printed right on the box, and there are no words involved, which is reassuring. A rectangular subwoofer, which will probably live somewhere on your floor, acts as the focal point for the whole setup. From there, you connect two circular speakers, with monitor cables, in order to facilitate the lights, which you place on your desk. There's also a USB cable that runs from the subwoofer directly to your computer, and a power cable. While the G560 can handle any sound you throw at it, from any source, its primary purpose is as a PC gaming accessory. Indeed, you can get similar non-gaming setups from Logitech for about $100, opens a new tab, but as such, I ran it through a rigorous round of testing with games ranging from competitive first-person shooters to story-driven single-player RPGs. Unlike with some of Logitech's mice and keyboards, for which the software is a helpful bonus, the software is fairly integral to the overall function of this speaker. You'll use the Logitech gaming software not only to configure lighting options but also to activate surround sound, switch between equalization settings and create profiles for individual games. Number 5. Razer Namo Chroma Computer Speakers. The Razer Namo Chroma is a huge upgrade from your old dinky desk speakers. The large cylindrical speakers look a bit like the engines of the USS Enterprise but provide crisp, clear audio and deep bass. That bass is driven by rear-facing bass ports that offer a more booming response on the low end than your traditional two-tweeter setup might. Though we do miss a dedicated subwoofer with this package. The RGB ring under the speakers is a really nice touch, and once again, it feels like these computer speakers are rather tastefully designed. Perhaps the best bit of the Namo Chroma design is that one speaker offers volume and bass knobs, 
which really help keep the noise down at night if you don't want to wake up your bedfellows. The bass can't crank up as high as some on this list, but at least the automatic gain control keeps it distortion-free for the most part. At $150, Razer's Namo Chroma directly competes with several other options on this list. They may not match the sound quality and feature set of the Logitech G560, but the Namo remains a smart choice for PC gamers who want a pair of great-sounding speakers without the hassle of moving around a subwoofer. I guess that's mostly people that plan to move around a whole bunch and want something simple, otherwise the Logitech Z407 is a less flashy but more full-featured option.